Hello! In this lecture, we are going to learn how to recode the categorical variables or the factors in R. We need to recode our variable when they are coded in a way that is not convenient for us, for the analyst. For the examples, I will use the same data frame, demo, that contains information about a group of car owners. I am going to record the variable gender as follows. The old value male will take the new value 1 and the old value female will take the new value 2. And I will create a new variable gender 2 in the process. First, I will use the brackets, so the base R. How to do it? So we tell the program that we want a new variable gender 2 in the data frame demo and this new variable gender 2 will take the following values. If the old variable gender is male, the new value of the, of the variable gender 2 is 1 and if the old val variable gender is female, the value of the new variable gender 2 will be 2. You notice that I put 1 and 2 within quotation marks because our new variable gender 2 will be a factor 2. So let's create the new variable gender 2 and then view uh, the new uh, view again our data frame uh, demo. So control enter to run all this. As you can notice here, the variable gender 2 was added at the end and it takes the value 1 when the gender is male and the value 2 when the gender is female, as we requested. We can do the same type of recording using the plier package, the function revalue. First of all, we have to load the plier package with require. And now, in the data frame demo, we are going to create a new variable, gender3, using the function revalue. How this function looks like? Uh, first of all, here we must specify the old variable, gender, and then we must specify how we want to do the recoding using the C function. So, in the parenthesis of the C function, we must specify the pairs old value, new value. So, uh, the old value male will be converted in the new value 1, and the old value female will be converted into the new value 2. Of course, the new values will be stored in the variable gender 3 that we will create. Let's try that. And let's view the variable, uh, the data frame demo again. You can notice here at the end the variable gender 3. That, of course, takes the value 1 when the gender is male and the value 2 when the gender is male. Female. So that's how to use the revalue function. Very important, if the variable to recode is not a factor, you must convert it into a factor before recoding using the factor function. Yeah? So you create a new variable which is a gender, which is a factor of gender. In this case, this is not necessary, but as I said, if the initial variable is not a factor, you must recode it, uh, uh, you must convert it, sorry, into a factor. Of course, you can recode into the same variable without creating a new one. For this, you just use the same variable name in both sides of the revalue function. So, as you notice here, we have the new variable demo uh, gender. Okay which is obtained by converting the variable, the same variable, gender, and the pairs 
old value, new value are as follows. Male equal to 1, so male is converted into 1, and female is converted into 2. Okay, don't forget to use the concatenate function here. Let's try that. Control, enter, and control, enter. Let's see at the variable gender again. The categories are not male and female anymore, but 1 and 2 as we requested. 1 corresponding to the male subjects and 2 corresponding to the female subjects. That's all for recording the categorical variables. Thank you.